Hi, I'm Hayden, and t tonight we're going to talk about the 11th dimension. Cool. So, Hayden, tonight I was talking to you about how I heard how the human body was designed in the 5th dimension, um, but then we've gone boom, down to the 3rd dimension and how new children like you and me are finding it hard um, and not that comfortable being in this denser form. Um, and it was interesting to see, to hear what it was like um, as a human in the fifth dimension. <clears throat> what did you have to say from there? Well, I've been in the tenth dimension form when I astral project. And I have been in the eleventh dimension, but still in a ten dimensional form. Because the eleventh dimension is for the mega angels and I'm not a mega angel, so I can't up there with all the higher beings could you get up there at any point yeah I can get up there but just not in their forms oh okay so do you have to change yourself no I basically have to just be because the mega angels like a lot of people who believe in the religions say that God created the, the universe in seven days and I believe that the mega angels created the entire universe and sometimes they make blank planets so that beings can come by and create new planets like I did at one point for my planet Strata and watch another one of my videos if you want to learn more about that. And yeah, they just create everything and so I'd need to be powerful and like super powerful. That's pretty cool. You can get to the tenth dimension, though. Mm. And so, can you, or can, or would you ever be able to get towards a mega angel status? Probably in another life, but I don't think it'll be this life, though. No. Do you know what you need to do, though? Uh, no, not really. Yeah. Like I'm only like I can go into higher forms than what I am now, but I was actually born as a as a soul in the seventh dimension, so I'm technically a seventh dimension form. Yeah, super cool. Um, is that when you call yourself Hypsilipia? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got another video on that too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that's you look literally like. just, that's just the letter, that's just saying it in English, but really up there we say it in vibrations and Hypsilipia is just the translated form into English. Yeah, awesome. And so... Um, do you know what type of being you are? Is that like your type or is that just your name? That's just my name. Do you have a type? Well, there's not really types, but we're from the planet Elba. Oh, yeah, because you've talked Which about I Elba. Which I think I've ages. talked about in one of my videos. Yeah, and you told me that a few years ago, a fair few years ago now yeah. when you are little about Elba. Um, do you ever have much contact with the, your family from there, from Elba? Uh, sometimes. And what do you do when you contact them? How do you do that? Well, there's basically just stuff that we go there for. Most of us don't go to Elba much. It's just basically a meeting place and where people, where souls get born. Yeah, cool. And what do you do when you go there? This is astral projecting, I gather. Yeah. Uh, I don't really do much. Like, it's just sitting around there and sometimes... Because there's also this blue comet meteorite thing yep. that's been zooming around the universe and it goes through all the galaxies and planets and everything every every couple of years and... So it's super duper fast and every time, so everyone comes, everyone from Elba comes and that when it comes past, because we know when it's going to come past. And mm -hmm. so that's one of the t things that we go there for. It happens about five times a year, so. Yeah, and you tell me that sometimes that you've been there yeah. and had a party. <laughs> <laughs> that's a blue comet. Yeah. Would you ever be able to see any of those beings down here on Earth like you are? In no, cause they're, because they're actually fifth dimensional beings, but then I'm a seventh dimension and then... Well, Elba is on the fifth dimension, but other ones of us are 
higher dimensions than that. But Earth is only just moving into the fifth dimension, so none of them would be on Earth except for me. Mm, and how come you're different, though? Because mm, I'm just a soul down here. They're all, like, eighth, ninth, tenth dimensions. Some are even eleventh, so which how... are mega angels. So I'm trying to understand how then are they from, or how are you all from the fifth dimension, like on Elba? No, I'm from the seventh. Just yeah. el- the actual planet is the fifth. Yeah, but didn't you say that's the planet you're from? Yeah, it's complex. Yes. <laughs> um, what else was I going to ask you? So you've got Elba and there's your type. Oh, and so I'm sure people are wondering where is Elba? Mm, just in the fifth dimension. Yeah, but not anywhere near here, hey? No, nowhere near it. Yeah. Do you have it's any like, idea? It's like, it's like millions of, it's like millions of light years away. Yeah. Do you remember why you chose to come here on Earth then? Uh, not really. No. But a mil- like a million light years is actually pretty close compared to like Earth and straighter and Earth and the mega angel realm. Okay. So, like, Meg, Earth in the Mega Angel realm would probably be Google Plexes of. That's like, a, like that's a one with a hundred zeros after it. Yeah. Like that many light years away, which is more than scientists know right now of what the universe is. It's more than they think the universe is so far. Yeah, because you've been learning about space in school, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, because studies think that the that the universe is 12 trillion light years long yeah and so 12 trillions only 12 and then 12 zeros after that yeah and then a light that's light years yeah and light oh uh, there's a like a light years a lot of kilometers that's right that's like nine trillion kilometers yeah in one light year and so how do you feel at school when they tell you stuff that you know differently? Uh, angry, basically. Yeah. How do you deal with that? Mm. Not easy, hey? No. I no. think we should end it now. It's getting a bit long. Oh, you don't want to talk anymore? No, nah, it's getting a bit long. Okay. I was going to ask you some more questions, though, just about going out into the other dimensions. Because um, I think people might just want to know more about the mega angels, because that's a cool topic. Um, okay. about do they have any other things? Like, are they still creating? Yeah, they they keep on creating the universe bigger and bigger and bigger. That's why some people say that the universe goes on for infinity. Yeah. Right now, it mm-hmm. doesn't, but they keep on creating forever, so cool. it will be. It does going, go on for, for, in, for infinity, basically, because they keep on yeah. making it bigger. And are the mega angels multiplying? Like, are there more and more of them? Yeah, because every time two mega angels have a baby soul, yeah. that's a mega angel too. Do they have a baby soul? <laughs> well, basically a soul. Yeah. It turned there. That person's that one's a mega angel too. So. Yeah. yeah. And so, do you know? Do you have any idea how they actually do create? Uh, like, how do they create these blank planets? Uh no, they basically just like go like that and like create an orb and then yeah. it just gets it's like an orb about that big and yeah. then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it's the size of a planet and then it solidify solidifies and hardens yeah or it turns into just gas like jupiter yeah and you've got a planet yeah do you are you interested in the science around that like how that actually you know becomes solid or gas does that interest you a bit, although I kind of already know. Mm, but could you explain it here in Earth terms? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> don't think I have a big enough vocabulary to describe what it's like. That's right, and that's why I'm saying... Because I've like... actually seen people do, uh, people from Elba do, like, create a planet. Oh, yeah? Because they created a twin planet to Elba. Yeah. So now it's like they're circling around each other. It's like... <laughs> Like, if you've got, like, two balls and they're connected by a chain and then they whirl it around, it's, like, going around and around and around. So they're just circling each other now. One's at one end and they're parallel to each other. Yeah. Going in a circle, both of them. That's cool. And it's, yeah. 
Do you know why they did that, though? Like, why'd they make a twin one? No. Like, loads of planets actually have twins. Mm. We actually have... Earth has a twin, but mm. it's just, like, super far away. Like, further huh. than, like, ten times as, as far away as Neptune. Oh, wow. And what's the point? Like, if any of you have watched my 12 facts about the solar system yeah. one, which, if you haven't, you should probably go watch it. Mm-hmm. It's, like, five times the size of the distance to Nibiru, which is a lot further out than Neptune. Oh, yeah. So, it's, like... Yeah. Super far away. Yeah. But the twin planet to Elba, its twin, mm-hmm. Elba's twin, is called Zephyrus. Oh, cool. Yeah, sometimes I go there. Yeah. Because some of the Mega Angels preferred Zephyrus than Elba. And yeah. so now there's beings from Zephyrus. Yeah. And they're having babies there, so that means that they're actually from Zephyrus instead of Elba. Elba. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Because they're getting born basically on Elba. Yeah, so I mean, diff- Zephyrus. Are they different to ones born on Elba then? No, because they're twin planets. Twin planets, yeah. any babies born on yeah. both the planets will be yeah. the same kind. Right. Like, like, I'm basically one kind of yeah. being, and then anyone born on Zephyrus will be the same kind as Elba. Okay, yeah, cool. But that we... It's whichever planet is first... That's the kind of being that they'll have. So Elba yeah. was first, and yeah. then when it was Elba, we were living there, and then yeah. beings from there created Zephyrus. The copy. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and so if Zephyrus was first and yeah. it had different beings, yeah. Elba would copy its beings. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't change Zephyrus's beings to copy what we want it to be. So do you know what the point of having the twin planets are? Not really. It's basically just to have other planets to go to. Mm. Like, I've seen planets that have got, like, a hundred twins. What do you mean, like, a hundred copies of the same one? Yeah. Like, it's like like a solar system of them going around. Like, there's, like, a star and then there's, like, all twins going around. Like, and the star, because every twin you have, the main planet gets bigger. It doubles in size. Oh, wow. So that's why there's, like, that first planet of those, that with the 100 twins is multiplying yeah. bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm. And it's, like, like millions <laughs> of times the size of the sun. Yeah. And then all the copies are just swirling around it like a solar system. Yeah. But it's actually just twin planets all around it. Wow. That's how the main... Because it's actually, it was actually a planet and then it, now it's counted as a star, oh, possibly right. bigger than a galaxy now. Just one yeah. thing that started out as a planet, yeah. a star, galaxy, it's like bigger than that. I have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> so where is that one? How did you come across it? Do you know? Oh, I just flew by and yeah. I saw it because yeah. I can see whether they're solar systems or, ga- or galaxies or twin planets. How do you know Because that? solar systems have about less than 10 things. If there's just two swirling together, yeah. Yeah. they're twin planets. Yeah. But if there's like more, a lot, if there's more than 10 planets, there's definitely just uh, one planet, mm-hmm. whichever the biggest one is, that's the main planet. And then the others are just yeah, the twins planets. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um. The other thing I was thinking, oh, it's something else that people might be wondering about. If Maybe we should just end it now. It's getting pretty long. I know, but then I feel like it's I'm on good topic, so I want to get Maybe more fun Maybe we should just do a second. Yeah, one. we could. Um, I feel like people might want to hear more, though, Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> Once we get you started, that's the good bit. So um, so you're saying you flew past that. That was when you astral projected. Right? Yeah. Um, do you – oh, so going back to the Earth twin – would there be humans like us the same? Like, is it in the same dimension? Is it? Is it? It's in the same dimension, but we're kind of not counted as beings because we're not, like, just energy like yeah. the others are. Yeah. So it'd probably be, like, a bit like humans. Like, maybe they'd be, like, aliens or something. Do you mean on the other Earth twin? Yeah, but they'd still be, like, solid forms like mm-hmm. we are, but... Mm-hmm. 
I don't think they'd be exactly the same as us. Yeah. They'd probably breathe oxygen and everything, like, a lot like us, but... Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. I don't know what the Earth's twin's name is. I can try to find out tonight. That'd be cool. You can come back and let us know. Do you feel like this is something you're going to get into more so to tell us on Earth? Like, does this interest you? I think so, yeah. Yeah, do you know the point? Like, what would be good to tell us about on Earth about all of this? What would help us? I don't really know, you know. No, but you'll find out, hey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe other people can ask you more questions about any of this. Um, if there's any other questions around that, because we've covered so many topics. I'm, I'm still going through my head. So <laughs> the mega angels, um, there was something else I was going to ask you about with that as well. Um, so they're still creating. Yeah. Um, do they have anything to do with Earth like right now? Uh, not really, because they created Earth and the solar system a long time ago. Yeah. Because... A lot, a lot of people know the Earth was created 4.6... I mean, yeah, 4.6 billion years ago, so... Mm. That would have been when they created Earth. Yeah. And Earth was... Because if you've... What, again, I'm going to relate back to my 12 questions about the solar system yeah. video. If you've watched that, you would have known that... I think I covered that Tiamat exploded and turned into the asteroid belts and Earth. Yep. So we're a quarter of the size of Tiamat. Yep. And so I think because we were the last planet to be created because Tiamat exploded into us. Yep. So I think the other planets would have been created about 10 billion years ago. Mm-hmm. So they probably created the rest of the solar system about 10 billion years ago yeah that was a long long time ago yep and can you communicate with them uh yeah are they your best friends <laughs> <laughs> not really best friends up there are they like can you what would you communicate to them about though if you were going to not i don't know yeah so if you go astral projecting tonight can you go like to the 10th dimension if you want yeah, I can go into the eleven if I just won't be an eleven uh mega angel. It won't just oh, yeah. because I'm it won't just because I'm there turn me into a mega angel. Okay, yeah. What is it was it like? It's like like it's not solid forms, it's just like mm. energy. I don't know how to yeah. describe it. It's just like amazing. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't scare you, hey. No. Does it feel better than being here? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Silly question. I'd rather be moving into the... I'd rather any day to be in the 11th than yeah. be moving into the 5th. Yeah. <laughs> Quote of the day. Yeah. Third, moving into 5th. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you can describe it any time, maybe you can do another video about that yeah. and tell us because we yeah probably got no idea and maybe you can't even put in words, but um, that'd be super cool. Um, and then the other thing that I was going to ask you about, oh, so, cause people are probably wondering about all the, the beings and stuff that you've been talking about, the mega angels and, you know, the, the beings from Elba and whatnot. Um, lots of people are like, you know, what about the ETs and the greys and all of that? Do you have much to do with them or are these like completely different again? Like completely different. Like I've barely ever com- communicated with the greys at all, like ever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because when you were littler, you did an interview with Mary Rodwell, yeah. who's right into ETs, and you had some info then, but you were saying it's a bit harder mm. to... Access it now. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's cool that you still got your contact there, you know, around your, Strader, especially that your planet that you've created. Hey, excellent. Well, we might just leave it there mm. for tonight. Everyone, please subscribe and put any comments in the comments section below, please. Yep, and we get back to it when we can, hey? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Hayden. See ya. Bye. Bye.